You are amazing because our passion is limitless and our drive is intense. Therefore, you will not deny our grind. You are now listening to the Faith, Grind, and Inspire podcast. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another great episode of Faith, Grind, Inspire podcast. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited because we're in 2020 and this is the third week of, of the year. How you guys feeling? You know what I'm saying? Like, how you guys feeling? Um, last week, last week, we got so much feedback, so much positive feedback. Um, and a lot of you guys were asking me to just have an episode about the seeds and planting the seeds. Um, so shout out to Jermaine Miller for coming in to the podcast and sharing Wake Up and Win, right? His new book uh, with us and dropping so much gems and so much jewels, right? Um, so I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys. We're going into uh, year two of the podcast and... You know, I can't I can't say I, you know, I didn't do this alone. You know, so shout out to Bree for always consistently being on top of her game. Shout out to my co-host with the most and the toast um, for adding some value to the episodes um, that he was on. Uh, Patrick Jeffrey. Shout out to him. Shout out to Tim. Shout out to Jamie. Shout out to everyone who came across the path of the podcast to make it great and add a little bit of spice to it. Um, thank you to all the listeners out there that um, tune into the episodes every Wednesday, consistently dropping um, jewels, uh, dropping messages on DM and, and Instagram and putting the little jewels uh, symbols on it, you know, saying that this was a gem episode. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. So, uh, so on the, the, the episode that you guys heard last week was um, Jermaine Miller, like I said, and part of the episode towards the end, I was talking about a message that I heard back in November and it was pastor uh, Jamal Bernard, right? And that's Pastor A.R. Bernard's son. And he was talking about the seed, planting the seed. And this podcast is all about the mindset of entrepreneurs, right? And so I'm going to bring this. I'm going to use these these five keys. And we're going to talk about this, right? Planting the seeds. This is a new year, 2020. 2020. What does 2020 mean when we're talking about vision? Clear. That means you see things clear. The only way you could drive a plane or fly a plane and uh, handle a plane is if you have 2020 vision. The only way you could do certain things in life is when you have 2020 vision. They call it laser vision. They call it laser focus, right? So this year, I want you all to have laser vision, laser focus, 2020 vision. I want you guys to fly that plane we call your business, your family, your legacy, your health, your relationships. I want you to fly every single one of these planes with 2020 vision. And every time you say today's date, like today is January 15th, 2020. I want you to remember that and focus on what 2020 means for you. I want you guys to know that you guys are in charge of your life. You have to take control over it. You have to plant the seed. I'm going to show you. We're going to talk about how to plant the seed. We're going to talk about the tools that you need to plant the seed and make it right. I use one of my seeds, one of one of the things I, I use as my tool to make sure that I'm right and focused is a planner, right? And this planner that I talk about is the planner that I use to write my daily task. Uh, I talk about it all the time, and uh, but that's one of the tools. I use a CRM system. Um, I use MailChimp to do email blasts, like you know, to consistently keep the message going out to uh, people who follow. I use Instagram as a tool. I use Facebook as a tool. I use text message. I use my phone as a tool. Like, you know, use the video, use the camera, 
You know what I'm saying? Don't don't just use your phone to text people and just gossip. Use your phone as the reminder tool. Use uh, Wonderlist as a tool. Use uh, Wonderlist is a great app that helps you with organizing your day and um, structuring your time. Uh, use technology as a tool to help alleviate some of the things that you, you know, that uh, in your business, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, one thing that I did in 2019 uh, in our properties is I eliminated keys because one problem that I noticed that we were having with tenants uh, was they would le lose their keys all the time. So it doesn't matter where I was. I had to come to the building or to come to whatever property it was and open the door for them. Right. Or pay a locksmith. So instead, I decided switch everybody's keys to uh, fingerprint locks or code locks. So now everybody will never be locked out again. So that saved me time, time I can't get back. So whatever tools that you to make your life a little easier in 2020, because you need laser focus, do it, invest in it. So let's get into it. Right. Bree, you ready? Number one, Pastor Jamal said, fruitfulness is what of our purpose. You heard that? It is our purpose, right? So we're supposed to do it. We're supposed to grow. We're supposed to spread, right? Number two, everyone has the capacity to bear fruit. Everyone has the capacity to what? Have a business. Everyone has the capacity to build a family. Everyone has a capacity to grow their business. Everyone has a capacity to do right in the world. Everyone has a capacity to inspire others. Everyone has a capacity to be a better leader. Everyone has a better, uh, everybody has a capacity to be a better mother, a better father, a better brother, a better sister, uh, a better sister, a better brother. You know what I mean? A better son, a daughter, cousin, whatever it is, grandparent. You know what I mean? Like you have the capacity to do it. Everyone has the capacity to do it, to bear the fruit, the fruit of our labor. Right? So, um, that's two, three. Anything can be a seed. Anything can be a seed. When we talk about anything can be a seed, like, what are we talking about? Positive, positive thoughts, positive thoughts, negative thoughts, even people around you being planting seeds in your mind saying that this can't happen or this can happen. So it's important to understand that you need to in 2020 to have that laser focused vision you need to have that laser that laser focus that laser focus only will work if you have people around you that share that laser focus that's the only way it's the only way right you also have um you also have to be careful with what you say, like what Jermaine Miller said, Jermaine Miller said in his book, you, you, the inner conversations, the inner conversations are, are, are deadly or they can be positive, right? It can make you procrastinate or it can make you take action, right? So what are you doing in your life? Are you going to take action or are you going to procrastinate? Are you going to are you going to let those inner voices control and dictate your success this year? Or are you going to say, listen, I'm controlling my life. I'm going to do this to win for my family, for me, for my legacy, for my kids, 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 kids. If you don't have kids for my community, what are you doing? What are you doing? People always give me props. Oh, yo, Gene, man, yo, uh, 
you know, I love what you're doing with the schools. I would, I would love to be a part of it. Call me up. Let me know. That's the famous thing I heard in 2019. Let me know. Okay. I'm letting you know. Come. They need you. Oh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, maybe next week. Uh, I'm not free this week. Oh, the time. Oh, it's in the morning. Uh, yeah, that's when school is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So everybody wants to let you know. I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know. Come. They need you because I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing people talk about this kid was so nice. Oh, man, I wish we spent more time together. I wish I spoke to him. I wish I did this. I wish. Stop wishing. And this whole year, just break outside. Get outside your norm. Do things that you normally would not do. Do things that you normally you would not do. I'm telling you. That is probably going to be the best thing that you do this year. Because once you realize that what you thought was the truth in your life, the say the lack mentality, the failure mentality, the I can't do it mentality, I tried this mentality, all those things were myths. All those things with an inner voice telling you that you can't do something. But you can. You can. There's thousands of people out there that prove to us every single day, every moment, that you can do it. I was driving on Fulton Avenue in Brooklyn one um, uh, two days ago. And I saw this guy with one leg on crutches hopping, walking across the street. Hopping across the street. With his walking with his uh, cr uh, crutches, and he had a smile on his face. You see what I'm saying? And he was—he didn't look like I don't know him. I I never saw him before, but this guy looked like he made no excuses, none. I'm talking about one leg, literally one leg. No excuses. People have two feet, two hands, a mouth, ears, eyes, nose. They have every sense. They have all their senses and they still make excuses. They have all their limbs and still make excuses. They have all, they have their health and still make excuses. You see what I'm saying? There's people like, say you, Bree. Bree. Last year was tough for you. You went through a lot of health challenges, but you still made no excuses. I know people who, who are super healthy and they just like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I'll do it the next day. Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. And they never do it. They never do it. They never take action when it, take, when it comes down to it. Something that I talked about uh, with, with Jermaine and it was something that I didn't do. Um, but ever, since that episode, I did it, you know, but, um, it's putting up a banner on the podcast uh, of the podcast on the building. And I could tell you that that accountability, me putting it out there and people asking me, yo, when you're going to put it up, when you're going to put it up, when you're going to put it up, it made me take action. But it was interesting because I really thought about it after I said it. Yes, that was true that I didn't take action for two years. But when it came down to really important things, things that were going to move the needle from one to two, I took action and I don't hesitate when it's time to when it's time to take that that shot, that winning shot. I'm going to take it. Right. I didn't think putting the banner is the winning shot. So I I procrastinated on it. You're going to do that in life. But what I'm saying is don't let that that one snowball into a million other ones. And that's where the problem happens. That's where the problem lies. 
We get too comfortable. And like I said, in 2020, you're going, I want you to get comfortable of doing things that are on, are uncomfortable to you and what you learned through your life. Whatever your parents taught you about being comfortable and this is going to work out like um, if you, you know, I have people around me, some, some, some people I know, oh, things are going to, it's just going to happen for me. No, it's not. It's not. You, God gives you a vision, but you have to take action on that vision. You have to take action. You can't just think it's just going to magically appear. It's not just going to magically poof. It's going to appear. You got put in the work. You 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 have to get your you have to get your hands dirty, which is another rule that he has, right? When you planting seeds, your hands have to get dirty. It has to be. You 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 can't you can't just go around it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just go around it. It it has to be where your hands get dirty, you get sweaty, you got to change you got to change your shirt. You got to do things that are not comfortable for you. You have to get dirty. You have to be in the sun. You have to be in the rain. You know, I love when I see construction guys uh, or construction women and outside in the rain, in the, in the elements. You know what I mean? And then a couple months later, you see a brand new building. They take down the scaffold. They take down the the. The, uh, the 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 covering that was hiding the building and in the months the years of work they when they take that down you see this beautiful building i love architecture i love buildings right i love real estate so when you see this building man you see the grind you see the effort that inspires me you know what i mean it might not inspire others but that inspires me cuz you saw you saw the ground break. You saw the dirt on the floor. You saw shout out to the uh shout out to all the developers out there. Shout out to the McCall group. My man Seth. Shout out to you, Seth. I see Seth and his team build build out of nowhere. These are one of the top developers in New York City, in New Jersey, and hopefully the world soon. Because they have a vision and they focused and they build things that last. And that's what I want to talk about, Bree. I want to talk to you guys about building things that last. Don't build things with weak foundations. Spend a lot of time building the foundation. Spend January, this month of January, building the foundation. February. Build the foundation. March, fine. Build the foundation if you need March. But by April, I need to see something coming out. I, you will see it. You will see something sprout up. But you have to make the foundation strong. When you see legacy, I call them legacy families. When you see legacy families, like the Flowers, Rob Flower and his family, when you see legacy families like uh, the Rockefellers and the, uh, you know, see the McCall company, these guys are legacy families where the father passes down to the son, the son passes down to the next son, and it keeps going, right? You can't lose, but the foundation was built, Right? What I'm doing with my son and my wife, we're building the foundation. But the foundation was actually laid with integrity, with character, with it might have not some resources from my side and my wife's side. And they our families built and laid down the the cement. They laid down the groundwork. They gave us the plans. And me and my wife are now taking that to the next level. But we're not only doing it for ourselves. We're going out and teaching entrepreneurship to the communities. This year, I already told my company, Compass, I'm going out and I want to go into different neighborhoods, different communities, and talk about real estate and how they could build 
a legacy for themselves, for their families. You don't want to just die and leave your, your kids debt, bad credit, creditors calling you. You want, when you pass on, the attorney of your estate is calling and saying, hey, we have $500,000 for you. We have a deed for you. You want to be called with a deed and title and uh, not debt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want a life insurance, your life insurance company to call and say, hey, it's Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so, your, your mom, your grandmother, your, your brother, your sister, your father left you this. Not, hey, you owe us this. We're giving you something. So let's start planting those seeds. Let's start thinking about this. Let's start thinking about generational wealth. Let's start thinking about legacy. People are preaching it, but what are you doing? What are you doing? Laser focus, 2020. Where we at right now is 2020. 2020, laser focus. I'm going to keep repeating it. We're going to drill it. We're going to drill it in your mind. I want this to be one of the best podcasts ever. Drill it in your mind. Legacy play. Legacy play. 2020 vision. This year is the year of laser focus. No other way. There's no other thing. There's nothing else you're going to tell me. Nothing else you're going to tell me. There's too many people winning. The excuses of this person's holding me down is gone. There's too many black millionaires. There's too many brown millionaires. There's too many Latin millionaires. There's too many Chinese millionaires. There's too many Muslims winning. There's too many everybody's winning. There's nothing. No one's going to tell me you can't win. Everyone's winning. Everybody. Every, you're going to see successful pockets in every culture. You're also going to see non-successful uh, pockets in every culture. Everyone has them. Every culture has, because it's not about color, it's about mindset. And in 2020, I want everybody to understand that it's all about the mindset. And that's what this podcast is all about. So this year is not about fluff. It's only going to be about the mindset of entrepreneurs and the entrepreneur mindset of how you're going to be laser focused on your goal. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I, I, I really, I really am passionate about this subject and I really think that, um, one of the other things I want to talk about is fruitfulness is not an option. It's not, you're either going to grow up or grow down. That's it. But you're going somewhere. It's either you're going up with your health, with your families, with your sons, with your daughters, with your wives, with your husbands, your communities, or it's going to go down. And when those things go down, you can't blame nobody else except you. You, you're the problem and you could be the solution if you have what 2020 vision <laughs> laser focused. You see how I brought that in? Cause every, if everyone has the right to bear fruit, everyone will plant a seed and everybody could grow a seed. Everybody has the opportunity to win. My parents, when they came to this country, the only thing they told this little Haitian boy was this opportunity in America. Now, 38 years later, now people are saying, oh, wow, wow, how, how did you do it? It's because I believed it. It's because my parents drilled it in my mind that there is no way you're going to lose. No way. In my family, I'm not, I, I didn't grow up the richest one at all. I didn't grow up with the money. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? We we talked about those in different episodes. But I never let my I never looked at what my cousins had as oh man, how come they have this and I don't have this? I didn't do that. What I said was one day I'm gonna have that too. And when that day comes, I'm going to spread the seed and I'm going to show other people how to do that and grow. And that's that right there is why the seeds and my mom always tells me because I'm always blessing people and I'm always giving to people. I said, I learned it from you. But she's saying that's why you're always going to be blessed. And that's something I want to talk about. That that part right there. Give to give people in 2020. Part of the laser focus is giving to give. I've been saying this message since 2010. Give to give when they always ask me, what what advice would you give? Give to give when it's talking about relationships, give to give. How do you have a successful marriage? Uh, marriage give to give how do you have successful relationships give to give don't give to get when you give to get that means you're expecting something you're giving something because you're expecting something back don't expect nothing back just give it oh someone wants an opportunity don't look at the opportunity like oh what am i going to get from this opportunity what what's going to come from me what do, what am i getting what what am I getting? If someone wants a contact, the most successful networkers are the people who not look out what, what they want, but what they could add value, the adding value piece to someone else. So when they network in a room, they're saying, hey, person A, person B, person C. They're not saying, hey, what can person B and C do for me? They're saying, how can I connect person B and person C together so that they could grow? Because when they grow, person A will grow. But the problem is, a lot of times you grow, you want, you want person A to give you something, person B to give you something, person C to give you something, person whatever it is, and everyone's giving you, you don't give back, and it just goes down, it sinks it can't grow up. Your hands out. You you need to give. You see what I'm saying? Like you're always going to get if you give. You give your time, give your resources. You give you give uh you give value. You just drop in value. You know what I'm saying? Like add something to the world, man. Stop taking from the world. Give. I'm telling you, 2020, I know this podcast, I'm sounding real, like, passionate. Um, that's because we don't have no more time. What are we going to wait for, 2021? No. 2020, the year, the year of laser focus. We've been talking about, you've been hearing about 2020 for years. For years, we've been hearing about 2020, 2020. You know what I'm saying? Like 2020, when you, you know, I wear glasses. I have 2020 vision with my glasses. When I take these glasses off, I'm nearsighted. So my vision is blurry now. I can't see far. But when I put these on, I see clear, crystal clear. Shout out to Tom Ford. Shout out to um, Forest Hills Vision because they hook me up all the time. Every time I go get a pair of glasses, they they check my vision. They they sit down. They they test me even though I'm like, "No, these glasses are good." They say, "No, we got to check. We got to make sure that your vision is crisp clear." We're going to compare this, we're going to compare this lens with the new lens. We're going to see if it is it better or worse. Better or worse. And they put this thing in this machine in front of you. And they say, "Better or worse? This is this." That's what they do. So in life, you need someone that's going to hold you accountable. Is this better or this better? This, this, get your vision right. Get your mind right. If you need to go to church, go to church. If you need to go meditate, meditate. 
If you need to go to yoga, yoga. If you need to go to a spiritual heal, I don't know. I don't care. But do something that you, you've you been saying because that inner voice is telling you to go do something. Go take action. If you need to go back to school, go back to school. If you need to switch your trade, go back. If your spouse is telling you, yo, you can't go back, but you know you have to, to better yourself, do it. The thing about marriages, right, is this. Saturday is my wife's birthday, right? The 18th. Shout out to you, babe. And happy birthday to you. The thing about marriage is to have a successful marriage, the the couple has to realize that the individual is growing on their own. You are growing together as a partnership, but each individual has to grow on their own. Hopefully that you both see and have the same vision in the beginning during the foundation. And as you grow with the vision, the same vision, you're growing to be better people together. So that's going to help your family grow together, right? That's the only way you're going to have legacy families. When everybody's growing together, when everybody's seeing the same vision, you know what I'm saying? Like when everybody has the same goal, you know, and to accomplish the same goal, you have to, you have to be able to let go and let the person grow. My wife would never not let me grow. (laughs) You serious? I tell my, I've been telling my wife for 14 years. Yo, you should go to law school. She'll be a great attorney. She doesn't want to do it. But it's not. If she said, babe, I want to be a lawyer. Go ahead. Take the LSAT. Go ahead. That's you can't stop someone. So if someone's in your life, I don't know who I'm talking to. But if someone's in your life that wants to grow and you're hindering that person's growth, that's a shame on you. Stop it. Stop it. 2020 year vision, year laser focus. If someone, if you're the person on the opposite side that doesn't know how to communicate to your loved one, to your parents, to whoever it is that you need to communicate with that, hey, this is how I want to grow. This is how I feel. I've been, this is burning in my stomach inside of me that I need to do this to grow, to elevate, to become a better person. Tell them, let them listen to this episode. Cause real talk, there's no more excuses. There's no more talking, man. There's no more. And you know, we're not having it no more. (laughs) Like the pole is in the, the pole is in the sand. We're, we're taking action. We're taking control of our lives and there's no excuses in my office. There's a, uh, at the ACA office, it says in the main space, it says either I will find a way or I will create a way, but I will not create an excuse. I will not create an excuse. Find a way, create a way. Oh, I don't have, I don't have money. Really? Find a way. Walk. You have two feet. Wash a window. Make $20. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know how to clean a window. See a dirty window? Clean it. Oh, you see a dirty storefront? Sweep it. Add value. See, if you have a job and you're not getting a promotion, What are you doing? Are you on Instagram all day? Are you on Facebook liking stuff? Are you, are you doing things wasting time? Are you not adding value at your job? Take time, take time to add value. Take time to be irreplaceable with, with your clients. Your clients don't want to fire you. Make it where Everybody wants to work with you. Everybody knows that for the last 14 years, 
of people who've done business with me. I hand deliver things unless it's like out of my control. If you're in like another state, because I order people order business cards for me all over the all over the country. But if you're in New York and I can drive to you, I'm hand delivering those cards to you. Unless you're picking them up out my office, right? But that's because I want to be irreplaceable. No other printer is doing that. Nobody else is going outside their way. When it comes down to the real estate, nobody is taking the time to go through every nick and cranny, nook and cranny with their client, taking the time, educating them. If you're doing that, applause to you. You got that 2020. If you're not doing it, you will be replaced. And this year is going to be the year of replacement. You will be replaced. If you don't have 2020 vision this year, I'm telling you, all the soldiers, all the grinders out there are out there ready to take your spot. And there is no fluffy, fluffiness about it. If you're not on top of your game, if you're not aiming to be that oak tree, if you're not being the top of your craft, if you're not spending 10,000 hours, if you're not doing the work necessary to be number one in your business, in your career, you will be replaced. What are you going to do? Wake up. Take action. Grind hard. With that being said, um, <laughs> man, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for this year, 2020. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another great episode of this podcast. I want to thank you guys for uh, trusting me and believing in me um, to add value to you, right? I, want, I, I hope this episode motivates you, inspires you, not even motivates you, inspires you to take action. I want you guys to take action in your family's lives, in your son's lives, in your daughter's lives, in your wives, in your husband's. Just do a little bit better. Every day in every way, I get better and better and better. Dr. Schaefer, my former coach, told me that. And I had to say this seven times a day, in the morning and at night. I still do it occasionally. Every day in every way, I get better and better and better. I work on one thing that I feel like I'm slipping on every day, whether it be my wife, my son, my friends, my mom, my sister, my dad, my health, my schooling, real estate, whatever it is, I work on something every single day to help me get better. Because in 2020, it's only about laser focused vision. I might not even take these glasses off because I don't want to see blurry. <laughs> I might get LASIK, but I don't want to get LASIK because I want, I want, I want the reminder that when I don't get focused, when I, when I'm, when I'm out of focus, this is, this is how out of focus looks like. I took off my glasses and what focus is when I put the glasses on, it's clear, crystal clear. This is when you, when people with glasses on, that should show you when you see people with glasses on for the, those that don't want to wear glasses or think it's like not cool to wear glasses, the people who wear glasses, they have laser focused and they're going to see better than you. They're going to see further than you. They're going to see clearer than you. <laughs> so let's focus guys. So anyway, keep grinding, keep shining. Keep going no matter what. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing 2020. Amazing 2020. And I want you guys to win. Everybody, shout out to my wife. Happy birthday, January 18th. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited uh, to, you know, share another birthday with my wife. And uh, God is good. Um, my son's coming up. My son's super excited. His birthday is February 4th. 
So he's he's been telling us since last uh, last spring. <laughs> My birthday is February fourth, and once he started articulating it, it was like it was a wrap. So shout out to my son, happy birthday, uh, early birthday to a new, uh, happy birthday, babes, and uh, happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there, man. Like uh, Michelle Obama, you know Martin Luther King, like everybody, you know. So um, yeah, thank you guys, man. God bless. Uh, and one, yeah, and that's it. You know, shout out to our producers, Brianna, Tim. Uh, thank you guys for continuing allowing us to put out great content. Thank you to WABC. Uh, thank you to everybody, Cumulus. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, we're live at the garden, man. Like this is this is you can't get better than this. You know what I mean? Like, thank you guys. God bless. <laughs>